Here comes one. Oh, got him. Got him. It's another nice one. It's another nice one. Get up here. Get up here. Oh, yes. What's going on, all you Mindac fans? Welcome back to another episode. Tonight, I am finally back out on the Fox River after a few weeks of not being able to come out here. I am back out on my favorite spot to fish. I'm hoping to get a few walleyes tonight so I can do a catch and cook for you guys. Um, I haven't been out here in a little while, so I'm not sure how the bite is going to be. But if I can get at least one fish to keep, it'll be like the only fish that I've ever kept out of here in a long time. Um, then I can show you guys how I prepare these walleyes. Um, whether they're coming out of here, Lake Winnebago, or even the bay itself. So, let's hope we can get some walleyes tonight. I'm going to have to apologize. I forgot the connector piece that goes on the bottom of my camera so I can put my camera on top of my tripod. I'm going to try and, like, rig something up so I can maybe just set it on top of it. But, otherwise, most of the footage is probably going to be coming off the GoPro. And then I'll kind of, like, switch to the big camera as I catch fish. So... I'm going to see what I can do about that tripod, though. If I can get that thing positioned on here good, then I'll use that. Otherwise, uh, right now, I'm just going to try and focus on catching some fish, finding some fish, and as soon as we start catching them, I'll turn the cameras back on, guys. So stay tuned. This is going to be a tasty episode. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. And I just knocked a bunch of ice into my hole. Nice, Cody. Good job. Way to get all that ice in your hole. Here we go. All right. Let's turn this bad boy on. Okay. There's a fish there. Look at that. Just using the heads today. Like always, just using the heads. And there's a fish on the screen, so I'm gonna get down there quick. Windy out today, let me tell you. Just this morning, you guys saw me. Um, out on the lake behind my house i was catching some bluegills this morning then i uh and, you know i decided to make the trip out here your turn come on two thousand years later Big fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. Get up here, baby. Get up here, baby. Yes. Yes. Waited all night for this fish, and he finally came and smoked that jig. <laughs> wow, he smoked that thing hard. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. He smoked this thing. There, it came right out. Perfect. Holy smokes, guys. <laughs> now that is a, um, my one fish that I'm going to bring home and cook up for you guys. But what a fish. Wow. That thing just came up and smoked that jig and wrap that I got on. Holy smokes. Happened so fast. But uh, that was awesome. I'm going to throw him on the ice. I am going to bring this one home and eat him and uh, prepare them for you guys. And uh, there's a lot more fish on the screen, so I'm gonna try and catch some more. Let's get down there, let's get down there. Let's see if we can't pull another one here. That was, there was a couple fish down there. Um, and that one just came up and smoked it. I had to piss him off a little bit. I, I really had to work that fish up and down, up and down, and finally he came up and just hammered it. Oh my goodness. That happened so fast. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Here comes one. Oh, got him. Got him. It's another nice one. It's another nice one. Get up here. Get up here. Oh, yes. That one actually would be a better one to keep than that one over there. Another fantastic fish. Look at how gold that one is. That is a beautiful freaking walleye right there. Wow. I'm going to see if that other one will uh, release. And I think I might actually keep this one instead. But whew, 
What a dandy. <laughs> There he goes. <laughs> that was freaking insane. The bite is, they're definitely starting to bite now. Um, they were being a little picky before, but now the bite is really starting to pick up and uh, I think I might actually be able to get on a couple more fish here yet tonight. So whew, it is prime time. It's time for me to get back down there and catch another. Howdy. Oh man, well my hummingbird died. So that's it. Uh, I think I'm gonna head out of here. Um, I mean, I was marking a few, but it kind of started to slow down, and then my hummingbird died, and now I'm just kind of ready to go. Wasn't the night that I was exactly hoping for, um, <laughs> but hey, whatever. We caught some fish. We caught two nice walleyes. One of them I ended up throwing back, and then I kept one. This guy to him for getting us dinner tonight. We are gonna. Bring him home, clean him up, get him rolling in some flour and possibly Frank's Red Hot. And uh, yeah, we we're gonna cook him up, show you guys how I prepare my walleyes. And it uh, should be pretty tasty. So I am glad, I am glad I caught a few so that I was able to film this video for you guys. Um, other than that, I think I'm gonna pack this shack up, get on the four wheeler, head it back to the landing, get home and clean this guy up. I don't know if you guys are ready, but I'm hungry, so let's go eat some walleye. It's getting hot. It's time to mix up some fish. I'm gonna pour some pranks. Right into this here bag. I'm not gonna pour too much in because I don't have a ton of fish. I'm just gonna pour just enough in there to coat the fillets I have. That should be more than enough. Take your walleye fillets. You pop them in the bag there. Let them soak. Get them all nice and greasy. That's good stuff. Give her a little shake. Shake that stuff. Cover it up in flour. This. Those babies are sizzling. It's gonna taste so good. I can't wait to eat it. Just gonna make sure um, that you keep a pretty consistent heat on your oil. You don't want to overcook them, but you also don't want to undercook them. So. These babies aren't gonna take long. This oil is hot, and they look great. <laughs> it is time to eat. I am freaking. I am starving. I'm actually really hungry, so this is gonna be good. Oh, nothing better. Absolutely nothing better. Fresh walleye, Frank's Red Hot, you gotta try it. If you haven't ever tried Frank's Red Hot, you have to try it, it's so good. It literally, literally tastes like you're eating a chicken wing. And I know we've said it in previous videos, but honestly guys, you have to try this sometime because it's so good. Oh, really hot. Thank you guys. For watching this video if you liked it please be sure to give us a big thumbs up and don't forget to go down below hit that subscribe button if you haven't already guys and let me know how do you make your walleye how do you prepare your walleye i know there's a lot of different ways to do it from deep frying to baking and i'm just kind of curious how you guys do it so leave some comments down below let me know how you guys prepare your walleye and uh maybe you know we'll do it in the future I'm gonna go continue eating this fish because it is so good. And honestly, nothing beats good fresh walleye. So I'll catch you guys on the next video. I'm not sure what it's gonna be, but I hope that it will be open water. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace.